2,000 likes. Okay, so let's. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if you give Will 2,000 likes, I'll have him cut my hair however he likes. Go ahead. What does $100 get you in San Pedro, Belize? Today, Layla and I are gonna take 100 Belize each and go see what we can get. For reference, that's worth 50 US. Let's go. So first off, we're gonna be going to Neri's Taco. So Neri's Taco is located in the heart of downtown, actually right close to El Fagon. Right. So why are we going there? Because one, it's cheap, and two, the food is delicious. Uh, me and Will, we're planning to get some chicken tacos. How much is that? Uh, chicken's uh, two for a dollar, and pork we got uh, one some the cents for one. There you go. Uh, those are the corn. Then we got the flour ones, uh, chicken one twenty five and pork two dollars. I'll get a banana juice. Uh, <laughs> let me get five chicken tacos. How many you get? Uh, let me get four. Four, four, four is good. Yeah. Four single taquitos or four dollars? Four singles. Okay, spicy. Spicy. Sure. Alright, tacos. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Four fifty. Four fifty. And Lelo's is five fifty. Yeah, I got an extra dollar for my taco, so uh, I get. I punch it. Eat. We gotta show you activities that are affordable too. Before we go to the Iguana Sanctuary, which is an affordable, really exciting activity, Layla suggested we buy some fruit, so. Oh, Layla, we have some fruit right here too. Oh, yeah, look at this. There's like a fruit stand, by the way, at every corner. So we're just gonna pick one here. You want a bag? No, no, no. $1. $1? $1. $1? Okay. Yeah. Each. Each. Mm -hmm. No, 50 cent. Oh, cuatro por dos. 50 cent you, 50 cent me. That's two bananas. Thank you. Dessert for breakfast, apparently. I'm gonna feed these some iguanas. Bananas. <laughs> Next up, we're going to the Eco Iguana Sanctuary. This is more of a hidden gem on the island, but it is free. They run it by donations. We're gonna show you more. This is going to be breathtaking. Hey, hey, this is Calvin. Um, just to know about the Eco Iguana, um, we're here to preserve a little piece of nature, the greener side of the island. The only spot on, in the country where you could actually see wildlife in the middle of a town. The only spot where the kids could actually visit and really learn more about the protection of the mangrove and, and the ecosystem and how it really works. And instead of going out in the boons, you could actually do that right here. So um, for foreigner and for local, it's one of the nicest ambience that I think positively impact the whole island. See what I'm looking at here, Mr. Calvin. Yes, man. Guys, give a big up to my guy right there in the comment section right now, please. Yes, man. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. No problem. Respect, man. Appreciate it, man. Anytime. My you know. guy. I have. Yeah. When you get into the Iguana Sanctuary, it's pretty much this cool, funky walkway made out of bush sticks. They have nice little signs all around it. And if you do come down on one of our client tours and you go around with this guy, hi there. <laughs> Chances are he's going to take you over here. You'll meet Mr. Calvin. He just gave a beautiful little explanation of what it is. Holy! Uh, what do we see in there? Uh, oh. I almost just walked in <laughs> as I'm talking to an iguana. Let me flip this around. Out of respect to this guy's personal space, we're not going to get much closer, but I would have actually walked into him. Had him a little notch shot out there. <laughs> That's huge, man. I literally saw Will just go in. He was going to step on it, and he was going to get maybe a nice little mark around from the iguana. But yeah. We're here. As far as I know, I think the orange ones are males, right? Yes, yeah. so the orange actually uh, kind of shows that they are in their prime time. So they're young, they're bright, and they attract the females so they can mate and make other beautiful iguanas about. And then the females, they turn green. And then later on, you'll see them with their gill and their spikes right on top of their head. So Lalo and I, Lalo's got four dollars, so remember he got two more tacos than I did. I got five here, so we're nine dollars donating to the Iguana Sanctuary. I'm doing an extra 20 
that we're not counting in the game because I love these guys. Let's just take care of the Iguana Sanctuary. Who do we give this to, man? You guys? In the jar? Okay. Thank you, bro. Have a good day. Thank you, man. Have a good one. On to the next stop. Lelo, the iguanas were nice. I'm a little hungry again right now. I think Robin's Kitchen is our next stop. Just down the street from Mahogany Bay. Robin's Kitchen's right here. Let's go in. They've got a lot of great stuff on the menu. Mr. Harvey, what are we dealing with here on the grill right now? Um, we're doing some jerk chicken, Jamaican jerk chicken. And what's the specialty over here at Robin's? Well, the, the, the people go for the jerk chicken mostly. It's a Jamaican cuisine, so they go for it big time. Okay, and what's the price for the jerk chicken and what's the price for the curry? Well, it, it's, it's the same price because it's um, it's chicken in total, so you're talking about 8 US. 8 US. Plate, yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. If it's a combo, then you're talking about 20 Belize. 20 Belize, yes. okay, there you go, 10 US. Yes. There you go. Great. Uh, Will, what do you want? Whatever you're getting on the combo pack. The combo pack? The combo pack. All, All right. right. <laughs> so these guys are going to go with the combo packs. Yes. I'll go with the jerk chicken with the rice and beans and a coleslaw. All right. Ready to go. All right. Lilo, according to my math, we're down to what? $70 each now? I'll be Lilo's accountant for this one. <laughs> For anyone that tells me San Pedro only has expensive options, this video is dedicated to you. When you come to the island, you need to come see Mr. Harvey. Yes. That was some of the best food I've ever had. Welcome. When you come, of course, come and see me. Delicious, and nutritious, and this is a family-run business, guys. You gotta come try it. Cooking from the heart. Man, lunch was good, but I think there's an activity that's free. Wow! That's a low price! That actually helps the community. It's not gonna break the bank. Walk in the Saga dogs, the Humane Society dogs. What do you think? Of course. What's going down by the beach and walking some dogs? The dogs are really excited. When you come over here, you'll see there's, you know, dozens of dogs. They're all rescue dogs, so getting them a walk is really important. I really highly recommend you guys do this. Right here, you have the Humane Society's info. We're gonna grab a couple dogs and go for a walk down the beach. Lalo. Hi. This is exactly what we needed, man. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Food over at Robin's is delicious, but we do need to work it out. Now, I want you guys to visualize. I know it's summer right now, but some of you guys might be sitting in a cubicle back home. Visualize the winter. Middle of the winter, how much would you pay to be walking down this right here? Walking down the beautiful beach in Belize, looking out at the reef with your boy Lalo and a couple of pooches. I can tell you on our spending sheet it was zero dollars, so that's why you need to do this activity. And this is what you get. <laughs> I think the dogs are tired. I think Lalo and I are even more tired. It is a beautiful hot day today. So now it is time to Get the dogs back to Saga, and from there we're gonna go get our hair cut, and then uh, after that we will be going to dinner. Showing you guys the day. We're still at 70 bucks if I'm not mistaken, right Lelo? Oh yeah, we are. We've done a bunch of stuff now, Lelo. We haven't even spent half of our budget. It's time to get cleaned up for dinner. This will be an important one. Man, I can't wait to get a haircut. <laughs> let's go, baby, let's go. There's only one barber shop for me on the island. My guy Brian right here. The only barber shop you should ever go to in San Pedro in Belize. Shout out to Players Barber Shop. A legend. All good? Blessed, man. We're ready to go, bro. Right here, guys, you gotta meet Brian. The best barber in the whole damn country. We're not gonna get in trouble for saying that, right? No, 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 it's all good. Well, I've been cutting here from since I was in my early teens, so I'm, I'm like maybe probably around um, 15, 16 years old. 
I started from high school. My brother, my cousins, um, they were the one who got us and myself involved in cutting hair. So um, here I am today. Um, I'm in my 30s now, so I've been doing this for quite some time and I've met, met a lot of great people, including yourself, Will, and also Mr. Button. So, yeah. Okay, Brian, where do they find you? When they come to San Pedro, how do they figure out where you're at? Well, I'm, I'm right here next to um, Superbuy's Seagrip Drive, so on Marina's store is right there. It's not hard to find. It's basically one straight down road to Alaya building, so it's not far from, from, the, from town, right? Of course. We're going to mark that one out for you guys. And I think we got to give a shout out to your daughters here, Brian. They watch the channel, right? Oh, oh, okay. Shout out to my daughter, Aisha and Angela, man. They, they love your videos, Will. They, my oldest one, she was amazing, man. Like, Dad, I recognize him from the video. I'm like, how the heck do you... What? You go to school, do you have time to watch Will's video? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, my dad is in the video. Okay, so let's wait, 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 wait. If you give Will 2,000 likes, I'll have him cut my hair however he likes. Go ahead. 2,000 likes. Oh. 2,000 likes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing today, Will. Okay, 2,000 likes, you guys gotta get it. Let's look. Putting this down. Let's <laughs> Right here, this is where you're gonna become. Come see right now. So we got $70 left each, right Lilo? Yes, after many hours and many, many days of doing calculation, we now finally have $70 left. Okay, and the haircuts are 25, right? 25 man? Belize, yeah. Belize dollars, not US, Belize dollars. 25 Belize. Make sure you guys tip your barber. Here Lilo, I put my 50 in and then we'll just, we'll do the accounting after, okay? Okay, so another three hours of accounting, okay. The tip is gonna go out of the video, we're not keeping in the couch. <laughs> but uh, when you guys come, tip the barber. Brian, we love you. All right, man. You guys have a great day, okay? Appreciate Lalo, it, thank you again. Good to go, man. All right? Good to go. We out. <laughs>
you can't beat that price. Full meal, we're stuffed, amazing food, like cannot describe how good it was. And actually just 79 bucks, Belize. So you're gonna divide that by two to get to US, Lelo? We've got 90 left. Uh, yeah, we do. Let's throw down. And I think we're gonna go out of pocket for an extra tip for the girls and not count it in our budget. That's how you spend 100 Belize in one day, guys. I hope to see you out here in paradise soon with me and Lelo. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. For $100, we got breakfast tacos, a haircut, bananas. We went to the Eco Iguana Sanctuary. We walked the Saga Dogs. We had Fonda Danilo, and of course, we hit Robin's Kitchen. What a great day.